Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video on Oblivion. And today I would like to tell you guys how to use Umbra. And Umbra is my favorite sword in the game. Like, if you guys have ever watched me play any sort of Oblivion game where I use someone with a sword, I almost always end up at some point getting Umbra. And it's just, I love, the, I love it so much. So Umbra has a very high base damage. So you know that little damage indicator next to your swords and axes and stuff? Umbra has an insanely high one of that. And if you complete the quest for it, all that happens is uh, Umbra goes from a quest item to a normal item, right? So if you have every intention of just keeping Umbra and uh, always using it, then it's very good that like you get Umbra off of Umbra's body and then you just don't do the quest and you have this sword that weighs zero. It's kind of funny because it's a really good sword and it also kind of just, you know, weighs zero when you want to do it. So how you use Umbra, it's, it's a little hard to exactly describe how to use Umbra because the main effect of Umbra is you get a soul trap, right? And so it's like, well, okay. That's a pretty simple, you know, way of using Umbra's. It's just a soul trap weapon. And you're right, it's just a soul trap weapon to, you know, some people. For me, Umbra is more than a soul trap weapon. Because it's a, number one is it's a long sword, okay? It's not just any soul trap weapon. If you have a blade specialized person and you just come up against an enemy that has no normal resist, right? So let's just say, a Breton, right? They don't have a normal resist to weapons. You're gonna be pumping at most 45 damage into this guy a hit. I believe 45 is the max. I could be wrong. Maybe if you like fortify up your strength or blade, but the most I've ever gotten Umbra to do is 45 base damage a strike. So you're gonna be pumping out a lot of normal damage, but I think there's also something to be said about Umbra's ability to go up against those enemies that have resist magic. You know, because you can have something like, um, take for instance, Goldbrand, where Goldbrand overall does more damage than Umbra, but it's half of it is fire damage, right? So if it's a Flame Atronach, you're only doing half damage to it. Or if it's something that has absorbing magic or fire resist, you're not going to be pumping out as much damage. On the contrary, Umbra has a lot of normal damage. So enemies, like I like to think of clanfers, I don't like fighting clanfers with Umbra because the normal damage gets reflected onto me. You know, I don't, I like, it sucks when you fight an enemy that has reflect damage or resisting of normal weapons or just heavy armor in general. I don't like using Umbra against them. Umbra also, you know, compared to gold brand or ebony blade or a dagger even, Umbra swings slow and I like it for power attacks combined with a shield. I kind of treat Umbra almost like it's a claymore and you can use a shield. You know, that's how I see Umbra's. It's a claymore that you can use with a shield. And, you know, yeah, there's gold brand, custom Diedrich weapons, you know, you can do that. But I just think that Umbra is, in my opinion, it's the best sword in the entire game. I think Umbra is the best sword in the entire game, you know, and I'll stand by that. I'll say, you know, it has more uses than just being a soul trap weapon. You know, I think it's more than a soul trap weapon. I think it's something that, you know, it you can use to, I mean, you can help level yourself up. It's the strongest sword base damage in the game. I mean, if you get it, it's not level scaled. So when you get it, it's going to do high damage no matter what level you're at. So it's like that kind of default sword that allows you to just steamroll through enemies with the game. And there's something to be said because the melee combat in Oblivion, I think sometimes it, a lot of it is based on, do you have a high damage weapon, right? Because you're gonna play the game way differently if you have a high damage versus low damage weapon, you know? And Umbra is that thing where it's like, okay, it's actually, it's a really good sword that helps you with those high damage weapon things where you need a high damage weapon. You know, you don't always need a high base damage weapon. There's times where I have a, you know, I have a character where I have a dagger and a claymore that do an insane amount of frost damage that are in some situations way better than Umbra. But other times Umbra just comes out ahead. You know, 
I think another great use for Umbra is if you're taking a character and you want to start using Sneak with them, like, you're not going to get that extra dagger bonus with them. I don't. I believe you don't get the extra dagger bonus um, unless you're a certain level of Sneak, you know? Or you're playing as a squishy character and you just suck at using daggers. You, you suck at the dagger combat and you need that kind of noob weapon. I think Umbra's probably overpowered because it's definitely a weapon I would highly recommend noobs to use. But that's really it for this video, guys. It's on Umbra. It's how to use Umbra. And also, I guess, why I think Umbra is the best sword in the entire game. Um, it's not the highest damage. You know, I would say that, in terms of damage and DPS, I, I'd say Goldbrand kind of takes the cake on that. Or if you can somehow get a dagger with an insane enchant on it. I don't even know what the max enchant is. But guys, let me know what you think of this video in the comments below. Subscribe for more Oblivion videos. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.